spear fishing to me, it's almost the way of seeing the world, really. It takes me to a place I've never been before, all along the coast. So spear fishing means to me is that it's a great sport, it's good for your fitness, and that it's really relaxing and enjoyable. So you can be down there, you don't even have to be shooting fish for it to be a good day. Just being down there in their environment, when you're down there, time slows down and you're a lot more relaxed. And the more relaxed you are, the better your dive is. Because it means living. I mean, living up in the tropics, you've got the best of both worlds. Good fish, big fish, grey fish. There's a fair bit here, you can't complain. started from very basic and humble beginnings and it's turned into an absolute killing machine. You can probably go back and look at things like the pole spear, which was probably how a lot of people, you know, back before uh, Western colonisation hunted fish. Um, you know, throwing a, a sharp stick or using a stick to, uh, to sight fish on the water. Once you put a rubber on a gun and you tension that rubber out, you store energy and that's obviously how you want to project the spear. Um. Yeah, basically you've got a rubber, you've got the head, and you've got your cord, there's not much else to it. What it means to be Australian and to have the opportunity to spearfish, I guess relates down to maybe like a really lucky privilege to have some of the, the most unspoiled kind of ecosystems probably in the southern hemisphere if not the world. Great Barrier Reef, changed the way I dive. Coming up from down south, it's probably not as versatile. You have to pick your days, the weather, clarity, closures. South coast, you can always jump off the headland in a bay, up a river, get some mussels, moisters. Up here you've got to be a bit more selective. I mean, I know there's a spear fishing anywhere but Australia, but I know this is the best place in the world. hunting for me, that means just picking out what I want to eat and you don't bother about shooting any rubbish. When I say rubbish, it's less desirable species. You don't go and shoot a great big GT when there's a nice trout sitting there. So you just pick out the best of what you like to eat and uh, go for it. Hunt it down and if you wound it, keep on chasing it till you catch it. And if you don't normally catch it, well the sharks will finish it off and you start again. As a spear fisherman we have the very uh, privileged opportunity to view what we're going to do before we take action. So if we see a fish that um, we think is selectable um, and it's not endangered or it's not protected or if it's not a legal size, we can let it swim past without pulling the trigger. Um, and then when we do see a fish that we wish to take, it's one shot, hopefully one kill. <laughs> um, and we have you know, minimal disruption or interaction with the surrounding environment at the time. And the advantage of spearfishing is when you're down there, you can see multiple different fish, but you select which one you want, which one you don't want. And when you find the one you want, you go up to it, you line it up and you shoot it.
this guy got.